I had a really wonderful conversation with Ozma uh, when we were uh, writing, uh, when she was writing the text for um, for the show at um, the MCBA in Lausanne. And actually the title of the show, Sturdy Black Shoes, comes exactly from that essay of hers. And I think, I remember we were talking about tensions and body tensions and how you walk around in Mkhichkala, Karachi, Moscow, Berlin, and kind of recognizable body tensions. What happens if you diffuse them, if you choose to diffuse them, how you choose to address those tensions and flexibilities, societies, flexibilities of societies, be it hyper sort of masculine performative society, be it um, some other performativity that's being enacted and what does flexibility mean today? And I think I identify very much with this flexibility that is essential for growth of any society. So, um, and of course, this feminism for me is is this flexibility, is this um, is this departure from uh, performative uh, masculinity, performative femininity. I don't know if it's understated in a way because this this statement relates to the reading of my work and maybe the emphasis of my work. Maybe kind of nobody looked at it from that prism directly, but I think it's, it's also because there are, so many, there are so many things I'm excited about and there are so many things that, I, am, um, that I, I want to include in the work, that I want to put in the work, that, that it stops being this beaming, uh, beaming question, beaming light. And it's also, it's because I assume that is a, a position of everyone in the world, in a way. Like, like it's really strange, but I consider um, everyone a feminist because don't you believe in equal rights? Of course you do. So, in a way, to me, feminism is a is a given position, given honest position of equality, and this is how you approach everything. So it's a baseline, and if it's a baseline, how can it become something that is painful, tragic, and addressed through tragedy. Like, of course, in a way, of course, the, of course there's, a, there's been a lot of struggle and there's still, still a lot of struggle for equality, but if you place it as a baseline for everything you do, then it stops being an open wound. It becomes a norm. And when it becomes a norm, it's one of the things that circulates through the work, one of the currents, one of the speck of dust in the sort of dusty cloud of things that you try to produce.